Mark Leiter was one of those heartwarming spring surprises, a man whose medical history was way thicker than his baseball resume, who beat long odds and would open the season with the Detroit Tigers. It was funny because one of the interviews, I said, I'll believe it when I hear the national anthem, <laughs> and I never heard it. About two hours before the game, I'm in the locker room, and Sparky says, Mark, I got to talk to you. I said, you got to be kidding. The Tigers made an opening day deal for Pete and Cavilia, and Leiter was the odd man out. Once again, fate had thrown a curveball at Mark Leiter. My whole life has been like that with baseball. From high school, I went to school with Jeff Musselman, and my brother Kurt was all state, and Alois was all state, and I wasn't all anybody. Leiter has endured plenty of insults, but even more injuries. He spent three years out of baseball after three shoulder operations. One doctor told him he would never pitch again. I thought that, you know, this is it, you know, um, I'm done. I still can't throw a ball 60 feet without a lot of pain. I mean, I could throw 20, 30 miles an hour, and that's not going to get anybody out. I just wanted to be honest with you. There were times I just wanted to get well enough that someday if I had a son, I could play catch in the yard with him. To get through something like that, you got to have a big heart. And it shows when he pitches, you know. I mean, he, he pitches a lot with his heart, man. He, go, he, he goes for it. He does the rest with an arm the Tigers say is the best on their staff. Yet while a parade of pitchers stumbled badly in a bid to become Detroit's fourth starter, the guy with the best arm in Motown was trapped in long relief limbo till after the All-Star break. We said this is our best arm. And that's all we kept saying. We said this is our best arm, but he kept staying down there. I should have been faster on the trigger on this, and uh, maybe if I was, maybe we'd be even with Toronto. That's not so far-fetched, really, when you consider that when Detroit was putting on the Ritzes, the Gaeklers and the Cerutis, they dropped 22 of 31 ball games. Meanwhile, Leiter won a team-best six consecutive starts, a Mitch Williams-like rampage that keyed the Tigers' charge into serious pennant contention. I started realizing now this is more than a dream come true. I mean, this is really and truly what you dreamed about, playing wiffle ball at your brothers, pretending you're uh, Pete Rose. When baseball people dissect Detroit's daffy doings, they start with Cecil and Company, and they end with those crafty veterans Gullickson, Tanana, and Terrell. Leiter doesn't even make the credits. Then again, he never asked for recognition. All he ever wanted was one more chance. In Detroit, Mark Schwartz, ESPN.